guys, it's me, Jake, from JakeMan21642. And today I bring you a video of this 2015.5 Volvo XC60 T5 front-wheel drive. As you can see, this one is finished off in a bright silver exterior. Down below, you do get some chrome accenting, as well as your tinted rear windows on this one. Along the back, you can see your dual exhaust, rear parking sensors. This one is equipped with a rear backup camera. And you have your very pretty and distinctive rear taillight design on this one. As you can see from this side, it does have intelligent key access on all four doors. And this one also is equipped with the panoramic moonroof from the factory. Coming over here, this one is riding on Pirelli Scorpion Verde tires. They are 235, 60 R18s. So you do have 18 inch alloy wheels, rear disc brakes of course on this one. You can see your T5 badge right there. This one is equipped with Bliss, blind spot information as well. And up front, you do have front parking sensors, halogen headlights, and your LED accents down below. So let's go ahead, start this one up. It does come with your standard Volvo key fob with lock, unlock, this button right here. Turn your parking and LED lights on. You have your trunk release and panic. But this one does have intelligent key entry. So all you have to do is come up to the door handle, just pull on it, and it will unlock. And then to lock it, just press right here. So we'll go ahead, step inside, start this one up. This one does have the soft beige leather interior, which with my favorite interior styling accent, the two-tone steering wheel. But as you can see, it's in excellent condition inside. You do have your full power driver seat with three-person memory and power lumbar. So we'll go ahead, start this one up. All you have to do, have the key fob in the vehicle, since this one does have intelligent key access. Foot on the brake, and push right here to start. Go ahead and close the door. And stick the key right there, just for the sake of the video. Inside of this XC60, everything is nice, soft touch material. It all fits together excellent. You do have your padded leather armrest. All for your automatic windows, power mirrors, power locks, door handle up here, and as I mentioned, this very nice brushed aluminum trim. Over here, your automatic headlight controls, uh, rear fog lights, your trunk and fuel cap release, parking brake down there, it is electronic. Along the top of the dash, everything is nice, high quality, soft touch material, it all fits together, excellent. And the center, right here, as you can see, you do have your fuel gauge, engine temperature, in the middle, you do have your tachometer and your digital speedometer, power meter over there. Shift indicator to the side, and it will indicate for sport or manual shift mode as well. Coming along the wheel, as you can see, you do have your cruise control, audio system controls over here, and this very, very nice two-tone leather on here. I just love the way it looks. It's a beautiful design. And you have nice and tight power steering. Now, you can go over here, click OK on the stock, and you can scroll through different settings, colors, um, messages, service status, or you can go to your themes and you can choose Eco right there. As you can see, for obviously more economical driving, it also will change the colors of the center display. Scroll up and you can choose Elegance, which as you can see, is just very nice and simple. You get your tachometer off to the side. Or my personal favorite is the performance mode because you get the very nice large tachometer, digital speed readout, and it does turn the center display red but it is also very precise, as you can see. Coming along the center of the vehicle, this one is equipped with the premium audio system from the factory. Do have more of the brushed aluminum around here, which carries down. But as I mentioned, it is equipped with the premium audio system. Do have your radio, AM, FM, Sirius, Sirius Weather, Media. You do have your USB, iPod, uh, disc, all of that. Uh, right there. Uh, USB, auxiliary in, Bluetooth audio streaming. You have your telephone right there, my car. This one is equipped with navigation from the factory, as you can see. Web browser over here. And more of your controls. And since this is an updated 2015.5 model, you have these very, very nice uh, metal accented knobs in here. They just they look really nice and they feel really nice to use as well. Down here, you do have your dual zone automatic climate control, which will come up on the display. As you can see, very nice, simple to use. Heated seats for the driver and passenger. Down here is your Bliss, um, automatic start-stop, 
parking sensors on and off, Eco Plus mode. This button will bring up your backup camera. You can zoom in. And down here, this one is equipped with the 8-speed automatic transmission with sport and manual shift mode. Putting in reverse, as I just mentioned, it does have a rear backup camera with trajectory lines as well. Back here, do have two cup holders, 12-volt outlet. Very nice leather-stitched padded armrest back here with your USB and auxiliary inside. Very nice, soft, and comfortable seats. Just very typical Volvo. They are so plush and nice. Up here, you do have probably one of my favorite design elements of the new XC60 is this frameless rearview mirror. It just looks excellent inside of here. It is auto-dimming as well. And you do have your Volvo City Safety System behind that. Up here, interior lighting controls, all of that. Passenger airbag on and off. This control for the cover, for your full panoramic sunroof. It is tinted glass as well, and it lets in a very nice amount of natural light. You can just send it all the way back, or just put it wherever you want it. But overall, this is just a very nice, high-quality interior. It's a great place to be. Go ahead, just crack the driver's side window a little bit so we don't get locked out. Unlock all the doors, and release the hood right there. Go ahead, step into the back seat of this one. Just open the door. And as you can see, that driver's seat is a little bit uh, further back than I would sit, and I am 6'2". But there still is an excellent amount of space back here. As I mentioned, I'm 6'2", and this is not how far back I would sit, but I'm still not even touching it. Do have some storage in the center. All the nice, soft material on the door follows through. Padded leather. Over here, do have your air vents. Handle up here with a hook. And the center, you have a 12 volt outlet right there. Right here. Cup holders, storage. Your middle headrest, will ra you can raise it up from right there. Interior lighting for the rear. Go ahead, step out. And the seats in this vehicle do fold flat. Just bring it down right there. And as you can see, nice and simple. The middle can fold independently from that side, or it can just be a 60-40 split. And as you can see, nice and easy to put back up. I can do it with the camera in my hand. Coming along to the rear of this one, it is equipped with the power trunk. Just push the button, and it will lift right up. Inside of here, you have an excellent amount of space. You have some different storage compartments, tie-downs, things like that along the sides. Underneath of here, storage compartment, which you can take this, hook it right there, and underneath of here, you have your spare tire, jack, all of that. Go ahead and bring that back down. And up top, go ahead, bring the trunk back down. On this side, you can see the back seat, everything does follow through. You have your vents built right into the pillars. And up front, you do have a full power passenger seat with power lumbar. Volvo door sills down there. And inside of here, this one does come with all of the original owner's literature inside of this Volvo wallet. And it also is a lighted glove box. Coming up front, you can see the halogen headlights on this one with your LED accenting down below. And up underneath the hood, go ahead and release it right here. This one is equipped with Volvo's 2 liter Drive E turbocharged inline four cylinder engine. This does replace the 3.2 liter engine out of the older XC60. And since this is a front wheel drive model, it does have the 2 liter. And these get excellent fuel economy as well as they have a great amount of power. Go ahead and bring this back down. We'll step back inside of this one and cut it off.
And as you can hear, it actually has a very nice sound to it as well. It's a very nice and refined four-cylinder. Go ahead, put the automatic driver's side window back up, and cut the vehicle off right here. Just press. Will chime reminding you to take your key fob, put the headlights back in automatic mode, and as always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond, here in Richmond, Virginia. If you are interested in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.